guys, more medic one here. Hey, listen, I got enough hours on the old Spartan that it's time to do its first oil change. One of the first modifications that I did to my mower is I moved the foot pedal for the deck adjustment back to the farthest hole. They even make a bracket that allows that to go back even further. I'm so long-legged and it, I have to really hike my leg up. I have to put my hand on my knee and get it up there so I can set my deck height. I may go ahead and order that uh, extendo bracket for super long-legged folks. One thing that we are going to fix today is that I've noticed that the the hose that's coming off of the fuel tank vent I came over here the other day and I noticed that my hose wasn't even attached to the carburetor and as you can tell it just unplugs super easy the hose that they use is not of super good quality I may just swap it out with some 3 16 gates vacuum line but to make this work in a pinch I'm going to show you how I'm going to fix it and so that you can do the same if you're having this issue. Normally I would just suck my oil out through the dipstick, but today since we've got such an awesome drain on this thing, right here, there she is. You can either use a quarter inch uh, ratchet or you can just do it by hand however let's see if we can do it by hand without having to have a backup wrench oh yeah looks like we'll be able to get it by hand here that oil is going to be hot If you want it to drain faster, just crack your cap, watch. While that's draining, let's go ahead and address this issue with the breather hose. As you can tell, what's happened is the hose has conformed to the little nipple. I could probably cut that off, but I'm going to show you what I'm going to do, and you can get some of these. I'll link a description. I will link these in the description below. So what I've got here are these little push lock hose clamps. They allow you to have a, a range. It's just not a specific size. That's why I like these so much. You put it around the hose and you just you crimp it down and the little teeth grab and it puts it on there and it ain't coming off and you can remove them so simple you just take your pliers and just move it to the side and it just pops them right off of there and if you don't tear them up they're reusable and there's the part number right there x002bm2agn but like i said i'll link the uh the kit in the description below all she needs she's on there for good you ain't pulling that off now <clears throat> she's locked in good and tight not gonna come off now I'll just zip tie that back on where it was yes sir we're about to get some rain again lowered my flag so it wouldn't destroy it man that wind is horrible out here all right i'm going to push my hand up under there farther so we can get to the oil filter i'm just going to crack that filter and i'm going to let it drain out If, there, if the drain plug ever got so tight you couldn't do it by hand, like I said, it's got a 
quarter inch square in there you can put a ratchet on there she has drained long enough let's go ahead and tighten that dude back up you don't have to kill it let's go ahead and finish removing that oil filter that dude is still pretty hot Ooh. Need to get me a rag buy these fl 400s by the case because the stins 1348 and the fl 910s is the same filter as this right here and i use this on briggs and stratton kohler kawasaki onan a ton of small engines will use this fl 400 s uh oh knocked my dead gum dipstick out of there there it is right there i was looking for it like where the heck did it go one thing that i do like about the ford filter is it's going to be a little taller plus it'll make it easier to get off because it's going to stick out just a little bit more go ahead and oil your gasket tighten that dude on home i'm going to start off with two full quarts of uh, kawasaki four cycle engine oil It'll probably hold a little bit more than that, but we're gonna pour two in, crank it, and then check it. Oh, I can hear the keyboard commandos now. Oh, more manic! You're using the wrong weight oil for that Kawasaki engine. You're gonna blow it up. Bull crap, I am not. This is exactly the weight oil that they recommend, especially here in Texas when it gets 110, 15, 20 degrees outside. Heck, it's not even summertime yet and it's 92 degrees today. Quart number two, going in. So let's go ahead and crank it and let it idle just for a minute. So you're probably wondering, why in the world is it telling me to do an oil change in only 30 hours? I actually went one hour over because we had some stuff we had to get done. I couldn't do it exactly 30 hours, 31. You could probably do 35. Shoot, I don't know why you couldn't go 50 hours and then change the oil. But the reason, the whole logic behind changing the oil on a new engine is to get the, the loose uh, particles out of the oil. Uh, once you wear in an engine, all those metal particles supposed to go in the filter but they can settle to the bottom of the sump and you, you know when you change your oil in theory it's going to flush all of those contaminants out so now we got fresh oil in the engine we're going to check it see if we need to top it off so the proper way to check the oil on a kawasaki engine is to unscrew it wipe it off and just lay it on the threads and pull it out. As you can tell, we are about, we need to add probably another half a quart. So about two and a half quarts on this engine with the 
longer oil filter. All right, another half a quart in. As you can tell, we are right on the money. So now we need to reset our hour meter so that we show zero hours for our oil change. So to reset the oil change minder, you put your code in, hit the wrench, where it shows the oil change and then you just hold it down. There we go. One hundred change oil in one hundred. Absolutely thoroughly enjoyed using this mower. I've had this mower for over a year now. Uh, the features that it does have are just, it blows anything out of the water as far as homeowner machines. I wouldn't call the, the RZHD a full blown commercial machine. Some of the main differences between a fully commercial unit and a homeowner unit is that a homeowner unit is going to have the integrated, uh, hydraulic drive it's going to have the pump and the wheel motor all one unit this mower has that but it's the heavy duty uh the parker drive units that are direct drive they don't have a gearbox to fail that's one good thing and it's got a chambered muffler that just sounds absolutely phenomenal this one is the 48 inch cut and i just got done using it so i haven't had a chance to blow it off yet but always, always, always blow your machines off. You don't want to put them away with wet grass or any kind of grass on top of the deck. Not only is it stinky, it gets moldy, and it causes tons of rust. It holds nine and a half gallons of gas, and that's another biggie for me. I like to just keep mowing and mowing and mowing. I can mow my yard two or three times on a tank of gas. I've got the optional two inch receiver hitch on this one. I did a video on that and I'll try to remember to link a description, link in the description for that video. But yeah, so far it has been a phenomenal mower. Some of the upgrades that you can do, and I've, and I've mentioned this in previous videos, is you can get the, uh, the torsion or the spring loaded front end you can get the tweels for the back. You can get tweels for the front. You can get, like I said, the extendo uh, lever for your foot. You can get a different suspension for the seat. All kinds of accessories that you can do and add to this mower. But to me, that seat by itself is just as comfortable as, you know, I'm a big guy. And I got to have something that's going to engulf me and be comfortable to to ride around in probably saying mower medic what'd you do with your old mower i have got some awesome videos coming on the old murray goat i'm gonna use it as my little yard mower my little utility get around mower i'm gonna use it for my spray rig and pull my little trailer i'm gonna end up putting some tractor tires on it taking the deck out from under it and it's just going to be a little tool around the yard but i'm going we're going to strip this engine and we're going to rebuild this motor and it may it may be on down the road a little bit i may have already spoke too soon but i promise you we're going to tear this motor down this little 14 and a half single cylinder briggs and we are going to freshen her up it's smoking a little bit and uh Heck, it was smoking when I bought it seven years ago. But this is going to be my new greatest of all time mower right here. The Spartan RZHD. All right, guys. Hey, if you found this video helpful, give me a thumbs up and smash that subscribe button. And while you're there doing that, go ahead and click that bell so that you get all of my new videos. Y'all have a good rest of your week. More Medic One.